You had a bad day. Your team didn't come to play. What can I say? They blew it away. You had a bad day. You had a bad day. Hi, everybody. It's me, Joey D. And this Dub Bears got beat down. I mean, beat down. How you guys doing? How you been? Hopefully, you guys can hear me. Uh, I can hear you, uh, and uh, hopefully you guys are happy and healthy, and life is good, and I'm actually impersonating a, <laughs> was that like a Scooby-Doo thing right there, zoinks, uh, how you guys doing everybody, God bless, uh, I just pretended, look, however bad we think we have it now, and, and you know me on this show, I always try to stay as positive as possible. Uh, even though it's really a dark time for us right now, um, it always could be worse. We could be the Detroit Lions when they went 0-16. To be honest with you, this is a reminder that we could always be the Detroit Lions and 0-16. So, uh, God bless. What do you think? Anyways, guys, uh, I apologize for not making a video right away. I, I've I had some uh, some stuff, and honestly, I haven't really been motivated to do one. And, and that's on me. That's not you guys. That's me. It's been a tough year. After last year, uh, you're on such a high. You're you're on such a like. And, and the off season, where everybody was pumping the Chicago Bears up, we were all pumped up about the Bears uh, this off season. A hundred years, right? A hundred years of football. Uh, the Bears had their their whole uh, weekend at uh, the Rosemont. Uh, where it was actually pretty cool, actually it was pretty crazy, but uh, there was so much hype on electricity about this team in this year, what we can uh, accomplish and, and do, and uh, obviously get to the big dance, right? That's what it's all about, right? Going to the Super Bowl. So uh, this past week, this game uh, against the Los Angeles Rams uh, on prime time in front of God and everybody, uh, it was it was tough. It really was tough. I uh, and the other thing too is now everything that you hear, whose fault is it? It's like that uh, that freaking uh, team, the show, the movie, Clue, right? You know who did it? It was the butler uh, with the wrench uh, in the kitchen. So uh, you know who who's here at fault, right, guys? I I mean I I want to talk about the last game, but I want to just kind of give my two cents, my three cents. Uh, I just think that, you know, yeah. all right, everybody starts at the top, right? Let's start at the top, right? G Ryan Pace, the GM, who I think personally uh, has gotten uh, some, uh, he's done some good for us. He's done some really good things for us. I'm not going to knock Pace because look at what he's done, all right? Uh, then the next thing is, who did he bring in, right? He brought in Nagy. Nagy automatically changed the culture in the locker room at Hallis Hall. Uh, he's more upbeat. He's more positive, right? Uh, it's a fun atmosphere. There was Club Dub. You were shaking. You were moving. You were twerking it and stuff. I saw you. Uh, so, so you know, Nagy brought that in. And then we won last year. And then we were winning, right? We got used to it. We're like, hey, this is beautiful. We haven't seen this here in Chicago forever. Uh then there's Mitch. We have Mitch, who did okay last year. He did good. He did good enough to become a Pro Bowler, right? He was in the Pro Bowl. Nod your head, shake your heads. Uh, so you you had all of that last year. Uh, you had some other Pro Bowlers last year too in there, and uh, it was a really good, solid team coming into this season. What did we have? Well, you know, obviously we have more offensive weapons. Uh, we have the returning starting lineup on the offensive line. And, uh, you know, we, we had more the defense, though, we thought was kind of possibly people thought they were going to kind of regress because Fangio left. But we got Chuck Pagano, right? We got Chuck P, all right? Good old, you know, the Don, the Don Pagano. Uh, and uh, here, guys, in all reality, when Akeem Hicks went down, I think the team went down, too. Uh I know it's just not one player, uh, but it seems to me that uh, the defense actually in this Rams game wasn't so bad in the second half. 
in that first half, though, Gurley was running everywhere. He was running up and down these guys. So uh, in that second half, Pagano and the defense actually changed and, and did some adjustments so he wasn't running the ball down our throats like that first half that he did. So that was good. That's a positive, you know, uh, in the second half. In the second half, that was positive. Uh, you know, our, our, our wide receivers, and I'm this is my ADD, my ad, basically, because I'm going to be jumping all over the place, guys, so please bear down with me. Bear with me, bear. Anyways, uh, our wide receivers have dropped the most passes uh out of any other team in the league, we're on top with our uh, our drop passes. Uh, another thing was we really haven't gotten crap out of our tight ends, right? We haven't done a a anything really out of our tight ends at all this year. It's, they're not existing. I'm just saying, all right? Uh, Shaheen, Shaheen's gone. God bless you, Adam Shaheen. I'm, I'm being honest. If you're watching this show, you're probably not. But uh, you're probably gone at the end of the year. Uh, Trey Burton, I don't know what's up with Trey. I, I, I really don't... Uh, he was very promising. He had a, he had a good year. Obviously, he didn't play in that Philly game, and ever since he didn't play in the Philly game, he's he's kind of been hurt or, or non-existent as well. So uh, you know, then then who is there? There's Ben B, right? You got Ben B who actually made that one uh, nice touchdown uh, the following week. But uh, I mean, honestly, there there hasn't been any tight ends, and a quarterback needs a tight end. You need that tight end. You need that safety uh, little safety net. To, to get you out of trouble sometimes. We don't have that. Uh, they just promoted on the 53-man squad, Jasper, uh, whatever his name was. But uh, I apologize, guys, because I don't have anything in front of me, and I didn't write it down. But we'll see what he does this weekend against the Giants here at home. I'm actually looking forward to it. The guy did looked really good in the preseason, so hopefully Jasper H., uh, does pretty good and uh, handles business, you know, so we'll see. We're, hey, we're giving him a shot. This is an audition. You want to play in the big leagues? Here we go. Here we go. Let's do it. So uh, then there's Mitch. There's Mitch where uh, his hip, right? He had a hip pointer. His hip was hurt. And see, that's the other thing. There's so much scrutiny and the eyes are sorely on Chicago. Anything they do, good, bad, or ugly, unfortunately, because Chicago is one of the largest markets uh, in in the U.S., right? You got New York, you got L.A. and Chicago. So one of the top three, uh, and obviously the media here, like in New York, the media kills you. The media will just eat you alive. So kind of Chicago, it's the same thing. So Nagy pulled him, right? The end, the end of the game, kind of Nagy pulled him because his his hip was kind of messed up. His hip wasn't messed up. Uh, is it on Nagy? Is, is it on Mitch? You know. Then you hear these stories about how that they're uh, dumb-downing the playbook, right? They're basically making basic plays calling uh, because Mitch can't grasp it, he can't pick it up. Uh, I, I don't know who's at fault, guys. And honestly, uh, at your job, your position, it, it, you shouldn't be doing this. You shouldn't be pointing fingers. What you should be doing is doing this, pointing your finger at yourself, all right? What am I doing wrong? How, how am I messing up? Am I missing assignments? Uh, Am I missing, you know, the open man, you know, uh, I got Taylor Gabriel down, uh, you know, 20 yards, he's wide open, and I didn't hit him. Uh, is it one of our wide receivers that, that ran the wrong route? Uh, is it one of our offensive linemen that's not blocking, all right, that, that's basically holding us back or not opening up lanes for our running backs? But I will say, though, on a positive note, this guy got a nice touchdown. Tariq Cohen, how you doing? He got a nice touchdown. It's beautiful. Tariq, God bless. How you doing? You're still here. The guy lives here now. I mean, he's here all the time. I can't get him out. It's, it's got to be the pasta. So, uh, anyways, guys, uh, you know, it's it's tough. We had so many different chances in that Rams game to get back in it, uh, to take the win, uh, and, and to basically build off of that. Uh, I, I saw some positive notes in there. Uh, Allen Robinson, who I love, who honestly is a pro bowler this year. I, I love Allen Robinson. He's, he's honestly just a stud. He dropped the ball, though. He did drop a ball. I saw him drop a ball. You guys all saw him drop a ball. And he's been money this year, but, you know, it is what it is. You know, here, nobody's perfect. I am not the most perfect YouTuber uh, out there, even though I think I am. And I'm, I mean, I, I am the best-looking uh, YouTuber out there. Yeah, right. Uh, anyways, guys, uh, but all I'm saying is nobody's perfect. Nobody is. I mean, Tom Brady's kind of dreamy. He's got Giselle for the wife. He's got the Super Bowl rings. Anyways, that's the Patriots. Uh, but what I'm trying to say is, guys, none of us are perfect. So 
Um, obviously, these football players get tons and pay, get tons and tons of money uh, to do what they love, and uh, which is awesome. But at the same time, we hold them to certain standards where they need to perform week in, week out. And uh, unfortunately, our guys aren't cutting it this year. So honestly, I, you know what? Here, you want to put the blame on Mitch? Put the blame on Mitch. You want to put the blame on Nagy? Put the blame on Nagy. Honestly, at the end of the day, I don't think we're ever going to find out who's who's here at fault this year. Uh, the only thing I can think of is maybe some Green Bay Packer fans uh, talked to the New Orleans Saints fans and somebody did like a hex or a voodoo curse or something on us. They did the heebie-jeebies or something. So I don't know. I, I really don't know what's going on this year. Um, it's sad. It's it's frustrating. It's upsetting The because there's so much potential on this team uh, and, and you just don't want to let it slip away. Will the Bears go after a quarterback next year? Hey, your guess is as good as mine, all right? We'll get into that later. We, we got the Giants this week, guys. Uh, my thing is this. Is this season over? I really believe it is. I hate to say that. And I don't want to give up hope because uh, I love hope. Uh, she's beautiful. All right, that's my wife's name, guys. So God gave me hope and gray hair. All right, a little cheesy. All right, thank you. All right, so, uh, but anyways, no. I just think that the season is over. This was a playoff game, basically. They should have went in there. Uh, what their mentality is, this is a playoff game. And if we don't win this game, we're not going to make it to the preseason. Uh, preseason, to the postseason, preseason, po any season, all right? Uh, the reason why is this. You already look at these top teams in the NFC, and they already got seven, eight wins, right? And we're stuck over here. And some of those teams that are above us already beat us. You got the Rams that beat us, right? So if we have an identical record at the end of the year, they got the tiebreaker. Same thing goes to Philadelphia. If Philadelphia has the same record as we do, boom. We, we get booted just because they already beat us. So uh, the only way I see is we would have to go, what, 10-6 and six for the rest of the year? We would have to go 10-6, and six, right? If I'm doing my math right, maybe I'm doing my math wrong. Uh, we would have to go 10-6, and six, and we would have... Other teams would have to lose along the way. Can it happen? Sure. It can definitely happen. Uh, and uh, I also can become the next Pope. So I, uh, it's just honestly, guys, I, uh, I love my team. I'm still going to be a Bears fan no matter what. In the crappy times, in the good times, the bad times, all, all times. I still love my team. I'm still Chicago Bears for life, baby. But I, I just I think it's reality is kicking in is, is, is this season's kind of over. It really is. Uh, so maybe throw in uh, Riley Ridley, uh, you know, get Javon Wims in there, get these guys going, see what they can do, bring up some younger guys, you know, and, and see what we have actually on the team. Or try some of these other guys out, see what we have. Uh, is Chase Daniel going to help us out? I mean, Chase is Chase. Uh, oh, shit, bro. Shit. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Uh, throw Tyler Bray in there, to be honest with you. See what he can do. Uh, but I, I just think that this season's basically done. Uh, I love my team, and, and I really just wish we could have won it this year uh, for Virginia. For Virginia McCaskey herself, the mama bear, uh, just because, honestly, I know she's getting older. Uh, God bless her. And it would just be so nice to get a win for her, uh, just to see that for her husband and, and everything that she and him, uh, George Hallis, got rest his soul, what they've done for football uh, for the entire NFL, and one of the founding franchises, actually the best franchise in the whole wide world, the Chicago Bears, baby, uh, it would have been really nice. But you know what, though, guys? I hate to say it. We'll be back, and the biggest reason, I'm going to leave you guys with this, all right? I'll leave you with this, and uh, I, I, I hopefully this has been a good show. It's kind of been entertaining, right? Entertaining a little bit with me, Joey D. How you doing, all right? Uh, we didn't win this year. Because, because, because we are going to appear on HBO Hard Knocks next year. You heard it here, heard it here first on November 21st. It's probably about uh, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock rock. We, Chicago Bears will be on the Hard Knocks next year uh, on HBO. And that's the folks the reason why we're doing this is so because if we can't win the Super Bowl this year and be on the show, so we gotta be on the show next year and then win the Super Bowl. If any of you guys believe that, God bless you and you believe in the Tooth Fairy and Santa Claus and, and, and everything else, alright? So, anyways, guys, I love you. Keep watching my show. Uh, 
you know, still represent, man. Still represent your team and your city. And this guy, God bless. I love you. So, uh, anyways, guys, I love you. Keep your your head up. Uh, we got to beat the Giants this week just because they gave it to us last year. So hopefully at least we can stick it back to them uh, and, and see what happens, guys. All right? I'm Joey D. And it's Dub Bears Beatdown. God bless. Peace out.